Hello Puppet fans! And welcome to this lecture. In this lecture we will enable the code manager to automate the management and deployment of your Puppet code. You can enable code manager after Puppet Enterprise is already installed or during installation process. In this lab we will enable code manager after Puppet Enterprise installed. To enable code manager after installing Puppet Enterprise or in an existing installation set parameters in the console. In the console, set the following parameters in the Puppet underscore Enterprise colon profile colon master class in the Puppet Enterprise master node group. Set code underscore manager underscore auto underscore configure to true. This enables and configures both code manager and file sync, rtnk underscore remote. This is the location of your control repository. Enter a string that is a valid URL for your git control repository. rtnk underscore private underscore key. Enter a string specifying the path to the SSH private key that permits the pPuppet user to access your Git repositories. This file must be located on the master, owned by the pPuppet user, and located in a directory that the pPuppet user has permission to view. We recommend to have slash etc slash puppet lab slash puppet server slash SSA directory so make a directory for the SSH keys. Generate the key pair. Ensure that the pPuppet user owns the SSH key directory. Ensure that the pPuppet user has read, write, and execute permissions for the files in the SSH key directory. Configure your Git host to use the SSH public key you generated. Place the public key in your GitHub account settings SSH key pair. And for R10K underscore private underscore key. Give a path of your private key you generated before. After console configuration changes click on commit changes. After that run Puppet Agent T to apply the changes on Puppet Master and wait for Puppet Run to complete and check the logs. You can also check the last run report in given path to find what all the changes applied in server. To securely deploy environments, Code Manager needs an authentication token for both authentication and authorization. To generate a token for Code Manager, you'll first assign a user to the deployment role. And then request an authentication token. So let's create a user and assign a user to the deployment role. Now generate the password for SA underscore puppet account which will provide a link to reset SA underscore puppet account password. Now we have the user and user of code deployment role. So it's time to request an authentication token for deployments. 
generate the authentication token using the puppet access command from the command line on the master server. This command both requests the token and sets the token lifetime to 180 days. Give a username sa underscore puppet and password as you have generated from the password reset link for sa underscore puppet. Once done it's time to test the control repo, from the command line. Run puppet code deploy dry run, if the control repo is set up properly. This command fetches and displays a list of the environments in the control repo. But it will not apply and changes as we have given dry run option. Puppet code deploy dry run. Found production environment to deploy so let's apply the production changes. Run puppet code deploy again but this time given environment as production with hyphen hyphen wait to wait the command run until environment deployed from source code. After completion of command run it deployed the production environment successfully but as we don't have any module in our GitHub account so it will only add the control repo environment config module. So as of now no module directory present in production environment. We will add module in our next lecture so let's move on to next lecture now. Okay. So in this lecture we have enabled the code manager. So if you have time feel free to move on to next lecture to add Tomcat and Java modules in your GitHub account.